will read I will read two stories. It's about um uh, two dead sisters who haunted the village where they died in order to seek the justice for the crime of murder. So it's kind of like um yes. So these two sisters' names are Chang Ha and Hong Yun. Yes. <laughs> So, I will start to read my story. So, let me begin. The two goats. There once lived a farmer named Pei. He was a prosperous and popular man who had a beautiful and loving wife, Chang. But Pei was not happy. He had no children. He was especially worried because he did not have a son. He knew that when he died, so would the family name of Bae. One night, while Bae and Zhang were asleep, a beautiful angel came to Zhang and gave her a small red flower. The angel said, Treat this flower as if it is your daughter, and you and your husband will be happy. Then the angel disappeared. As Zhang looked at the flower in her dream, it changed into a baby girl. When Zhang awoke, she decided that the angel's visit had been a dream. There was no flower in the room, neither was there a baby girl. Nine months later, though, Zhang gave birth to a baby girl. Dear husband, she said, please don't be disappointed. I know you wanted a son to carry on your family name. Pe smiled. I am a little disappointed, he said, but I am happy to have a daughter. I am sure she will give me as much happiness as you have. We will call her Changhua. Pei and Chang loved their first daughter, and one day they had another daughter. They named a second daughter Hong Yun. Then soon after Hong Yun was born, was born, Chang died. Pei and his two daughters lived happily together for many years, but he could not stop thinking about his family name. He still did not have a son. When Zhang Hua and Hong Yun married and had children, their children would not have the family name of Pei. Pei decided to marry again, and the village matchmaker introduced him a woman called Pei. Pei didn't like Pei. She was fat ugly and rude, but she was strong. Perhaps she will give me a son, he thought. So, Pe married He. He was rude. She got drunk, and she often beat Chang Hua and Hong Yun. However, she gave Pe a son, and for, his, for this he was very grateful. Pe named his son Chang Su. Chang Su was an ugly, mean, and greedy child. Of course, Pe gave him his son everything he want, wanted because Chang Su was very dear to him. This only made Chang Su meaner and greedier. One day, Chang Su hit Hong Yun because she would not give him more rice. He was stronger than his sisters because he ate all the time. Zhang Su hit Hong Yun again and again. Zhang Hua grabbed a skid stick 
and began beating her fat little half brother. Changsu screamed with rage. He ran into the room. Seeing what Changwa was doing to her son, she grabbed the stick from Changwa and began beating both sisters with it. The girls' screams were heard all over the village. People thought, poor Mr. Ba, he should never have married that terrible woman. As the years passed, Hei realized that Chang Hwa and Hong Yeon must marry soon. Of course, Bae would have to give their husbands' families a lot of money. He did not want Bae to waste money on his daughters. She thought, I must persuade my stupid husband to get rid of his, rid of his daughters. He hid some of her money and one of her necklace in Chang Hwa's room. Then she told her husband that Chang Hwa had stolen her things. My daughter would never steal, Be said. Prove that to me, He said angrily. Let us search her room together. In Chang Hwa's room, Be found the money and the necklace. Of course, Chang Hwa said she did not steal them, so Bad did not punish her. A few days later, He ran into the room where Bad was resting. She fell to the floor beside her husband and said, I am so ashamed. Chang Hwa has disgraced our family. She's going to have a baby. Bae was horrified. He knew that his family name would be disgraced. She doesn't deserve to leave, He said. Then she quickly added, First she stole my money, and now this. I'll tell Chang Su to take her to the lake and drown her. Bae was even more horrified by this suggestion. But he kept telling him how terrible the situation was. Bae could only bow his head in slyance agreement to his suggestion. That night, Chang Su threw Chang Hwa into the lake and she drowned. The next day, Hong Yeon asked Chang Su where her sister was. Oh, Chang Su said, my mother told me to drown her before she had her baby and dress disgraced our family name. Hong Yeon wept all day for her lost sister. She adored Chang Hwa and did not want to live without her. That night, she went to the lake. I am going to join you, my darling sister, she said. Then Hong Yeon walked into the lake and drowned. At first, the villagers believed that Chang Hwa and Hong Yeon had left to visit, visit relatives in another village. But every night, a red mist covered the lake and the sound of crying was heard. Then the crops died. Many people were sure these things were caused by the ghost of two sisters. When the village magistrates suddenly died, the king knew that something was ser seriously wrong. He sent a young officer named Zhang to the village. Zhang was told to find out what was causing all the trouble here. Then Jung arrived at the village. He heard stories about the ghost of two young girls who drowned in, in the lake. That night, Jung stepped by the lake and waited for the cries of the ghost to begin. To his surprise, two girls appeared in the mist. My name is Hong Yeon. 
One of the ghosts said, This is my sister Zhang Hua. We were daughters of Bei and Zhang. Then she told Zhang what had happened. Zhang returned to the village and sent for Bei. In the name of the king, he said, I arrest you for the murder of Zhang Hua. Bei tried to explain why he had allowed Zhang Su to drown his daughter, but Zhang interrupted him. This is nonsense, he said. The girl did not steal anything, and she was not going to have a baby. You, He, and Zhang Su will all go to prison. Some years later, Bei was led out of pr prison. She, he returned to his village and lived alone for many years. Then he met a woman named Yun. She felt sorry for him because he had been tricked by He. Yun realized that Bae was not really a bad man and agreed to marry him. One night, as Bae and Yun lay sleeping, Yun had a dream. A beautiful angel came to her and gave her two small red flowers. The angel said, These flowers are from Zhang Hua and Hong Yun. Treat them as if they are your daughters, and you and your husband will be happy. Then the, the angel disappeared. As Yun looked at the flowers in her dream, they changed into a twin baby girl. Nine months later, Yun gave birth to twin girls. They looked exactly like Zhang Hua and Hong Yun. Bae stopped thinking about his family name. He was content now to spend the rest of his life living happily with Yun and two daughters. The end.